My name is Anna Hryniewicz. I'm originally from Poland. The technique I use is mostly acrylic on canvas, but I also incorporate mixed media like graphite, wax crayons, sometimes uh, collage elements. This, for me, and there's another one outside, but this for me is one of the most beautiful paintings in the show. I find it has areas of quiet and um, areas of tension. There's a lot of there's a lot of tension as well in the, in the painting, and that's a lovely mix. To get I am uh, committed to abstraction uh, since I obtained my master degree in 2004. Uh, before that, of course, when I was studying, I did a lot of nature studies, uh, life drawings, still lives, and portraits. She has understood what, what, what the painting is saying to her, and the painting is starting to understand what she's trying to say back to it. So it's, Conversation. Uh, this particular series of works brings back a lot of memories from my childhood. When I was a little girl, me and my dad, we used to look at the sky a lot, walk a lot, and we talked about how beautiful and amazing and mysterious the whole universe is. And then I remember my dad told me that I should paint it, but just paint how you feel about it, he said. And I think that was the best lesson on abstract art I've ever had. This day is very imprinted in my memory because it was then that I realized I wanted to become an artist. These marks, this balance of these marks here against these ones up here, it's just beautiful. It's like this, this reference that is taking place all the time. I love it, it's a, it's, it's a superb painting. I like the idea of elements that govern universe, different uh, parallel worlds that may exist simultaneously and layer upon each other. And so my vision of cosmos uh, has always been a great source of inspiration for me. It has this primeval, uh, um, luxurious forest um, uh, sense of wilderness about it that is beautiful. But it is these marks, this sense of the mark. And she, you know, as, a, as an artist, as an artist myself, my, my instinct is load your brush enough so that you don't run out of paint. But she is allowing the paint to get thin and then pull around, get thin, then pull around again. And that, again, creates this sense of rhythm. So if you're looking at the painting and you follow that line, you can feel the movement of the artist. I imagine them as I paint and trying to capture the character of such a place atmosphere, mood, as if I were there at the very process of creation. 